All right, I'm going to take a look at a Canadian stock over here, Drone Delivery Canada, FLT. It's on the TSX Venture, I believe. Let's take a look at the chart. So first taking a look at the chart, and I haven't even looked at it before. So let's just take a look and see what I see right off of the bat. Right now, I'm seeing the potential that this could be a little bit of a falling wedge. Not totally, but I see the potential there. I do see that potential there. We got high volume spikes at the lower levels, showing support at those lower levels, which I think is a good sign. The stock is seeing a divergence on the RSI. We see it got oversold pretty much on the RSI, hit about 30 rebounded now we pulled back we hit a lower low slightly on the price but we didn't hit a lower price on the rsi so that's showing a divergence on the rsi we got a potential falling wedge over here the volume is fairly low like this stock is quiet down a lot like it had its big peak that was up in february and you see the volume there was so much volume so right now there's a lot of money sitting in the red on this stock a lot of guys still holding bags on this stock and look at that volume spike it was the highest right at that top big indecision candlestick and has been downtrending downtrending ever since really but this is a clear support area identified by this point by this point and by this point over here so this is a very clear support area now is it going to be able to hold this support area and rock it off of it or is it going to go lower so that's the question that we're looking at now now what i noticed is that it's actually trending on yahoo finance drone delivery canada corporation is trending on yahoo finance so that could be a good sign for the bulls and i was looking up some news and we got some news here we got Drone Delivery Canada announces multiple agreements for a project at Edmonton International Airport. So they're pleased to announce a deal with the assistance of its sales agent, Air Canada. So these guys are working with Air Canada to multiple commercial agreements at the Edmonton International Airport, basically. And there's more details to it. So basically, to my understanding, at the airport, they're going to be using their drone system, their proprietary patented drone system at the Edmonton International Airport. We go further. We got Drone Delivery Canada awarded fourth patent for its patent patent. I don't know. Someone tell me how to say it in the comments. Fourth patent for its proprietary drone delivery solution. So they got their fourth patent. And they got their fifth patent. And this is all very recently. With the, within a day of each other. And then this is a couple weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Announces extension of commercial agreement with DSV Canada. So there's some good news going on. The stock is trending on Yahoo Finance. And we got a potential falling wedge here. High volume at the lows. Very clear support area. It's around the psychological support, $1, 50-week moving average. That's the yellow line right here. Getting pretty close to the middle monthly Bollinger Band support area, monthly support level, and 20 exponential monthly average. So a lot of support around this area. Let's look on the hourly, the shorter term. Looks like that falling wedge that I'm talking about. I'm seeing some potential here. You could enter around this area with a stop loss below this support level. Obviously, ideally, it's not ideal if it drops below there. And it is possible that it does and it's a fake out and then goes up something like that, like a V, v thing. But either way, I think this stock... And this is just my opinion based off of the charts and the news and that is trending and all this other stuff. I think this stock could go up soon. I think it could make a move. I'm not recommending it. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not recommending it. Do your own due diligence. I could be wrong. I could most definitely be wrong. But that's my thoughts. Thanks, guys, for checking out this video. I'll release more soon. Have a good night.
And uh, don't forget to like and comment if you can. That will help the Instagram algorithm, just like Graham Stevens says. All right. Thanks, guys, for your support.